Regardless of who stands before you, speaking the word of God is not about the container, it's about the content. Take the word, receive the word, it will do powerful things in your life. Hallelujah. 
And so it's important for us to apply ourselves to the hearing of the word. And I praise God because that is what we've been doing from Monday up until now. Hallelujah. And we will carry on doing it and apply ourselves more to the hearing of the word. Hallelujah. Now, God does not do anything without speaking. In other words, before God does a thing, he speaks. Now, when he speaks, he expects us to listen and listen attentively. And so that is why faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. And where does faith come from? We know faith comes from where? The word of God. Praise the Lord. No wonder in the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 20, it says, My son, attend to my word. Incline your ears to my sayings. Incline your ears to my word. The word you've been hearing concerning the fullness of God. He says you to incline your ear. Hallelujah. Another version says to turn your ear to hear what God is saying. Hallelujah. Another version says to listen attentively. Hallelujah. Another version says to listen closely. Hallelujah. Another version says to uh, apply yourself to hearing the word of God. Another version says, make yourself disposable to hear the word of God. Another version says, make yourself willing. Make your ear willing. Another version says, bend your ear to hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. So I give God praise because we are here tonight hearing the word of God. And as we are hearing the word of God, faith for abundance comes. Hallelujah. Faith for the fullness comes. Faith for, for the blessing comes. Faith for healing comes. As you hear the word of God, faith is held up. Amen. So I pray tonight that we hear the word of God attentively. We listen to his word closely. In the name of Jesus, we apply ourselves. We dispose our ears, not just hearing, but with the hearing of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Paul was telling the children of Galatians, the believers in Galatians, I'll look at Galatians chapter 3 and verse 2. He says, This only will I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Hallelujah. He was telling them that you guys started out well by the hearing of faith. Now, what is this works of the law that you guys have jumped into? Praise the Lord. So, by implication, we receive of the Spirit by the hearing of faith, by the hearing of the word of God, that is how we receive the fullness of God. That is how we receive whatever we need, by hearing of faith. Hallelujah. Now, if he goes on in verse 5 of that Galatians chapter 3, to say, He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit and walked miracles amongst you, does he do, do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Hallelujah. So it means or it implies that the ministration of the Spirit and the walking of miracle comes by the hearing of faith. Hallelujah. We've had a lot of people who receive manifestation of healing in the Bible. The Bible said they heard. And they moved. Hallelujah. We heard of the woman with the issue of blood. She heard. And faith came. And she stood up. And she moved. And her miracle manifested. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. So the number one element of faith is what? Hearing the word of God. Number two element is receive the word. As you hear the word, you do what? You receive it. Now let's turn our Bible to the book of James chapter 1 and verse 21. James chapter 1 and verse 21 in the King James Version, it says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Other version says, accept the word which is able to save your soul. Hallelujah. Until there is a receiving, there cannot be a saving. Hallelujah. So as we receive the word of God, it, 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 it goes further to tell us that there will be a saving of the soul. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's also look at the book of First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. Remember, we are talking about receiving the word. Hallelujah. It's not just enough to hear, but also to receive the word. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13, he says, For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when you receive the word of God which you heard of us, Receive not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which worketh effectually in you who believe. Now the word of God received is what works effectually in the believer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The BBE version says, and for this cause we still give praise to God, that when the word came to your ears through us, you took it. Hallelujah. The other version said you received it. This one said you took it. Faith takes. Hallelujah. So whatever you find in the word of God is for your taking. You take it. If it is, if it is good, you take it. If it is the blessing, you take it. God is a God of repeat performance. Because he seeks to perform, repeat his performance in your life. Hallelujah. He says you took it not as the word of man. The word has been coming since Monday. We are hearing the word now. For the word to be effective in your life. You don't take it like just, oh, it's just the apostle who's been speaking. Or no, it's just Pastor Vicky who's been speaking. But you take it as the word of God. You receive the word as God himself speaking to you, which is actually God himself speaking to you. Regardless of who stands before you, speaking the word of God is not about the container, it's about the content. Hallelujah. So he said, you took it not as the word of man, but as it is, as it truly is, the word of God which has living power in you who believe. That word of God becomes power in you because you believe. You took it as the word of God. Hallelujah. The EE version says, is in English, it says there is also another reason why we continue to thank God always. It said when we told of God's message to you, you believed it as words from God. You knew that it was not only a human message. So it's not been a human message that has been preached from one day until now. It said you believed it as God's message which it certainly is. And it says, and God's word do powerful things in you who believe. If you believe the word, you receive the word, you take the word. It says it will do powerful things. Who is ready for powerful things in this place? Hallelujah. Powerful things every day of your life. Powerful things every week. Powerful things every month in the name of Jesus. Powerful things in this season in the name of Jesus. Uh, take the word, uh, receive the word. Uh, it will do powerful things in your life. Uh, it will do powerful things in your family. It will do powerful things in your body. It will do powerful things in your home. It will do powerful things in your community. It will do powerful things in your office. It will do powerful things with everyone you meet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The word of God believed on those powerful things. The word of 
that God believes on does, he does powerful things. He does powerful things. In us, he does powerful things. In you, he does powerful things. Hallelujah. The next thing we're going to see, the next element is belief. Hallelujah. Because connecting from the last, uh, from the, the verse where we read, it says it will do powerful things in you who believe. Hallelujah. The next element of faith we're going to be seeing is belief. What makes your faith operative is belief. Hallelujah. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It said, but without faith, Without faith, without you believing, it is impossible for you to see good things. For the power of good things to work in you. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe. In other words, faith pleases God. Hallelujah. If you want to please God every day, and that is what God wants you to do, is believe Him. Do not take His word for granted. Do not take His word lightly. The reason why people don't see the power and the manifestation of the word of God is because they don't believe it. They take the word of God, you know, like the word of man. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must, must. It's not an option. It's a must. It is important. It is essential. It is crucial. It is a must to believe him, to believe his word, regardless of your circumstance. Regardless of the situation, regardless of what you hear, what you see, what you feel, or how you feel, or what you, the report, it is a must. There is no option there. What pleases God is faith. What pleases God is your belief. If he said it, he will do it. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he says it, he will do it. What he promised, he will fulfill. Amen. Hallelujah. So if he will fulfill his word, you believe his word. You take him at his word. Hallelujah. If he said that you have the fullness of healing and health, you believe it, you take it, and you move with it. You don't ask questions. You don't doubt the word of God. You don't question him, but excuse me, sir. Uh, what about this? Uh, there is no excuse, Mister. Anyway, his word is his word. He said, "He that cometh to him must." That is serious. Must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes. Your belief equals your reward. If you cannot believe, know that you cannot be rewarded. Hallelujah. So we believe that the, the, operate, the, the, the next operation of faith there, or what makes faith operating, is belief. Let's look at Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. The gospel according to Mark chapter 9 and verse 23 says, And Jesus said, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him. To him, to her, regardless of your race, regardless of your age, he said, All things. On Sunday, we had a testimony of a little girl. She just saw a strange movement in the room. The mother was not around. She opened her mouth and she rebuked whatever it was because she's been hearing the word of faith and she opened her mouth not to fear not to be afraid because she's been taught and she has received that word regardless of race regardless of color regardless of your age 
Hallelujah. All things. All things are possible with faith. All things are possible with faith. All things are possible with faith. God needs you to believe his word. God needs you to believe him. Take his word, not like the word of a man. Take his word, which truly is his word, and run with it. Hallelujah. Let's look at Luke chapter 4 and verse 45. Sorry, Luke chapter 1 verse 45. It says, And blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. She is blessed because she believed. Hallelujah. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. And I look up to that word performance, it means fulfillment. There shall be a fulfillment of that which has been spoken if you believe. Words have been spoken from Monday. Prophetic words, declaration, truth has been have been coming forth. It will be fulfilled based on what you believe. Hallelujah. He says, I look up that word again for performance, it means completing. There shall be completing. Whatever you've heard, as you believe it, he said, it shall be completed. I look up the word again, he said, accomplishment. Whatever you believe in the course of this season shall be accomplished. In the name of Jesus. He says, perfecting. Whatever you believe shall be perfected. In the course of this week, all that you've heard from Monday till now, it says it shall be accomplished. It shall be perfected. It shall be completed. It shall be fulfilled as you believe it and as you run with it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So every year we come, we say, we make declarations. I've never, I've never, nothing has happened. It's because you, you didn't believe. You didn't believe the word spoken. Hallelujah. Amen. So faith is turning you up tonight. The word of God is charging you up tonight. The word of God is encouraging you tonight. Hallelujah. The word of God is telling you all tonight to take the word of God, to believe the word of God, to receive the word of God for accomplishment, for fulfillment, for completion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We look at the number four element. Number four element, it says speak the word. Hallelujah. Speak the word. Let's look at Mark chapter 11 and verse 23. Mark chapter 11 and verse 23. He said, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever, you talk, you shot, you, you think, you black, you white, whosoever is whosoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his own heart. Not in other people's heart. It doesn't matter who doubts your word. In your own heart. If he, he, he says, if you shall speak the word, the words you've been hearing from Monday till now, the words you see in God's word, the promises of God, the truth of God's word for you and to you. Hallelujah. He said, if you shall speak it, and you shall not doubt in your own heart. It's not determined by anybody. The outcome of your speaking is not determined by anybody's doubt and unbelief. It's not determined by their opinion. People are entitled to their opinion. That is their business for you. God to speak the word of God. It is my season of fullness. And that is what I am experiencing. Yeah. Close. I walk in the fullness of the blessing. I walk in the fullness of God's power. I walk in the fullness of his anointing. I walk in the fullness of his wisdom. I walk in the fullness of dominion. 
communion. I walk in the fullness of authority. I walk in the fullness of grace. Uh, that is the word of God to me. He says, I have received that of his abundance. Uh, grace for grace. Uh, gift for gift. Uh, gift upon gift. Uh, I have received it. Uh, that is what is operational in my life. That is what I believe. That is what I see. That is what I speak. That is going to be my experience in the name of Jesus. Regardless of what anybody thinks, I do not care. All I care about is what the word of God says. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said, which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Hallelujah. In that verse, I think believe appeared there how many times? One time, but say it, speak. It appeared how many times? Three times. Hallelujah. Placing emphasis on what you speak. Your speaking is important to the operation of faith. What you say is important. It is spirit. It is life. Hallelujah. What Jesus said for the words that I speak unto you, they are what? They are spirit. They are life. And we know that words are containers. Words are containers of life. Words are containers of death. When you speak it, you will enjoy or eat the fruit of what you speak. So what do you want? Hallelujah. What do you want to be filled with? It's a principle of faith. What do you want to be filled with? Speak it regardless of people's opinion, regardless of what they think. They may laugh at you. Speak it. Hallelujah. I'm the head and not the tail. I speak the blessing. I'm above and not beneath. I speak the blessing. Hallelujah. My going out and my coming in is blessed. I speak the blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. I speak the blessing. I am blessed to do good. I speak the blessing. I am blessed to dispense good. I speak the blessing. Regardless of my bank account, he said he will bless me and I will be a blessing. That is his word. His idea, it was not my word, not your word, not anybody's word, his word. He says, put that word in your heart and put it in your mouth and you speak it out. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you shall not doubt in your heart. But shall believe that those things uh, which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Now if you will have whatsoever you say, say what you want. If you will have whatever you say. Now it is not up to God. God has given you the tool of faith uh, to walk by and is telling you, you will have what you say. You will have what you say. Don't say what you have. You will have what you say. You will have. It will come. You will have what you say. Say what you want so that what you want can come and you can have it in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Speak the word. Speak the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Speak the word regardless of what you think, regardless of what you feel, regardless of what the economy is saying. Speak the word of God. You are blessed. You are abundantly supplied. Speak the word of God. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. He said, let not the, let not the weak say, I am sick. Say it again. Let the weak say what? I am strong. So you don't speak your condition. You speak what the word says about you. You speak what God has said concerning you. Stop speaking your own words. 
The reason why things have not been working is because you've been speaking your own words. This is not happening. That is not happening. This is like that. That is like that. What about the word of God? He said, when they say there is a casting down, you will say what? There is a lifting for me. There is a lifting for me. When they say there is no way, you will say there is a way. When they say it is not working, you will say it is working. When they say no, you will say yes. Because you shall have what you say. Not what they say, what you say. Whosoever shall have whatsoever they say. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. He says, We having the same spirit of faith. They spoke then. We too, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, therefore, have I spoken. We also believe, therefore, speak. They believed. They spoke. They saw the manifestation. We also. We are not left out. We are not exempted from it. We also have the same spirit of faith. Hallelujah. Faith believes and faith speaks. We want to see what is in your heart. We hear what you say. Hallelujah. Faith believes. If you believe it, you speak it. I am blessed. Is that what you believe? You speak it. Most times you hear what people believe. And that is why things don't work for them. Because you are ensnared with the words of your mouth or by the words of your mouth. You are trapped. You are put in bondage by the words of your mouth. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, things are not working. Ah, it's tough. How was office today? Ash. Instead of speaking the word, the first thing that comes out is ash. It was terrible today. My boss is this, my boss is that. Oh, that colleague did this or that. Oh, my, my salary is not increased or this or that. Uh -uh. That is not the way to speak. Because you are there, that place needs to be blessed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because on the inside of you, you carry the blessing. And you are to unleash the blessing wherever you appear. Hallelujah. In your office, you are to unleash the blessing. Because you are there, that place will prosper. Yeah. Because of your presence, then that place must flourish. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember while walking... I used to pray for my, my, my office, my place of job. And it was from one promotion to the other. Things I never worked for, never deserved, never had the qualification. It was from one thing to the other. Just listening to the spirit of God and declaring I am blessed. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus in this place. Anything that is not righteous must bow and it must live. The righteous one is here. Hallelujah. And the Bible says the favor of God is upon the head of the righteous. The favor of God surrounds the righteous. The favor of God goes before the righteous. And I declare those things. It was from one blessing to the other, one promotion to the other. There was nothing I did there that was as a result of my qualification did i put in the word yes i was a very diligent one but was it because of my uh, my effort no my ability no i came there with the blessing i unleashed the blessing there yes. hallelujah that is your power that is the power that you have hallelujah yes. so he says that uh, we have the same spirit of faith according as he is reading i believe therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore we speak speak what you believe yes. speak what you believe yes. and what you believe must be in line with the word of god yes. hallelujah yes. because that is what will cover your life what you speak will come on you. Speak life. Speak increase.
speak abundance regardless of what you are saying. Uh, we walk not by sight, uh, we walk by faith. Uh, we keep our eyes on the word, we keep declaring the word, we keep speaking the truth, and the truth of the word of God, uh, it will prevail and it will change the lies and the falsehood around us. In the name of Jesus. Now the BEE, -E, the EE -E version says, it says in the Old Testament, I believe so I spoke. And we believe by the same spirit, so we also speak because we believe. We speak because we believe. Yes. You speak because you believe. That thing you are speaking, do you believe? Is that what you truly believe? Can you catch yourself at times and ask yourself, what I just said or what, am I, uh, what I'm about to say, is it what I believe? He said, we also speak because we believe. If you don't believe, if it's not what you believe, keep quiet until you believe for it. Hallelujah. Because your belief will come to you. Faith will attract to you what you speak and what you say. Faith will magnet to you. It will draw to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And the next element of faith, which is the last one, is act on the word. Hallelujah. Act on the word that you hear. Words have been coming uh, from Monday. We've been hearing instructions. We've been hearing prophetic words. But you have to listen intently. Hallelujah. You have to believe it. You have to receive it. You have to speak it. And you have to act on the word of God. Praise the Lord. James chapter 1 and verse 22. James chapter 1 and verse 22. He said, but ye, but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves so if you hear the word of God you do nothing about it you don't believe it you do not receive it you don't speak it and you don't act on it he says you are deceiving yourself do we have deceivers in the house is do we have any brother who is so we are doers of the word of God hallelujah we don't deceive ourselves we do the word if he says to speak in line with the word, we speak in line with the word of God. If he says to believe, we believe. If he says take the word as the word of God, the, it, the way you would treat the word of God will be different. Hallelujah. Your attitude towards the word of God determines its attitude towards you. Because the word has got eyes and it, it's looking. Hallelujah. The word of God looks at your attitude. What is your attitude towards the word of God? Regardless of who stands there to speak the word. Hallelujah. So let's look at James chapter 1. He said, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. The EE version says, but do not only listen to the word of God. Do what it says to if you do not, you will be making a mistake. You don't want to be a deceiver of your own self. You are not deceiving anybody. He said your own self. And you don't want to make mistake. It's a mistake for you to hear and not do. And not act upon what you hear or the instructions of God's word. Hallelujah. Let's look at John chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, his mother said to the servant, whatever he says to you, do it. The power is in the doing of what has been said. The power is in you acting on the word of God. Hallelujah. You do what is said. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1 to 2. It says, now the Lord said to Abraham, Go out from your country and from your family and from your father's house into the land to which I will be your God or into the land which I will show you. In verse 4, the Bible says, So Abraham went. 
So in other words, Abraham acted upon the word. Abraham did the word of God. In walking in the abundance of God, it requires your obedience. Yeah. Walking in the fullness of the abundance requires your acting on the word of God. Just like the, uh, uh, the mother of Jesus told the disciples from where we read. He says, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Because manifest, uh, the doing of the word of God provokes the manifestation. Hallelujah. Do we want to see the manifestation in our lives? We have to be doers of the word of God. Hallelujah. Rise up to your feet tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are hearers of the word of God. We are the ones who receive the word of God. We are the people who believe the word of God. We are the people who speak the word of God. We are the ones who act upon the word of God. I'd like you to lift up your hands, lift up your voice, and give God praise tonight for the word that you have received. And I'd like you to pray tonight uh, and make a commitment that, Lord, uh, I've been hearing your word from Monday up till now. I've heard your word tonight. I receive your grace uh, to be a hearer of your word, to allow myself to hear hear your word, to apply myself to hear your word. I receive, oh God, the grace and the ability to believe your word, to receive your word, to speak your word, and to act upon your word for a mighty manifestation of your fullness in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and praise in the name of Jesus we pray.